we followed wrestling uh, when they had it before. No way, really? We always followed. My husband really loved it. Fresno State Wrestling once again doing it in the valley, guys. Bulldog Wrestling's back! Go dogs! Yeah, go Bulldog! Bulldog, Bulldog wrestling's, wrestling's back. Bulldog Wrestling is back. Bulldog Wrestling's back, baby! Bulldog Wrestling is back once again in the valley, folks. Nation, take note. We're back, guys. The Bulldogs are back, man. Hey, first dual meet in 11 years. The Valley is fired up for these young men. The Bulldogs are back. We're happy to have wrestling back. You know, it took a week to drop the program. It's taken 11 years to get it back. Such a great, great time right now for this to happen. Driving down the street with one of my wrestlers, uh, and he says, Coach, they just dropped wrestling. I said, What? I said, you got to be kidding. They blindsided us. They never gave us a chance to raise money. They just approved the budget on a Thursday and dropped it on a Friday. The reasons given for dropping the program at the beginning was never, never Title IX. People don't say Title IX. What they say is funding. Right. Because you can't fund more sports to counteract the numbers. And that's something because it's more of a legality thing than anything else. I'm sure. Uh, but the reality is it, it was financial, you know, because you wanted to keep it up and we knew we were going to have to pick up some more women's sports. And sometimes uh, dropping sports isn't the way. It's to go out and find more money yeah. and be creative and do what you're supposed to do as administration. Brand new, they're a type of aerodyne without the fans. All the guys hate the fans, right? I you have to tape over I them. Did. So, yeah, these are fanless aerodynes. Got these 30 pound sledgehammers. These are like big hockey pucks. So, we do some slams with those. You know, this is where we wrestle every day. We've got everything we need, so, be good for this year. It's Athletic Corp man. I went to every meeting almost for 11 years, you know, t 10 years. I did all sorts of, just sat there. And you know, they probably wonder, what's this guy doing? Well, I'm not giving up. I paid guys to go to student council. We finally got them to vote on it. They voted yes, we get rest, We should get wrestling back and Weldy and Bay, uh, okay on with the next thing. They just completely ignored it. We did all sorts of things. I can't even remember all the things I did. People were starving for this program, you know, and it just, the people from the valley are good, strong, hardworking people, hardworking farmers, hardworking Hispanics, hard work, just very, very blue collar. These people really understand the sport, they care about the kids, and uh, they see the future. People haven't had an opportunity to see a college match in a long time. Having a team like Illinois in here, having a guy like a Imar coming back, you know, it's huge. You know, I had that experience when I was in college, and there's no reason it can't be here. And that's what I saw right away. I know this valley is strong in wrestling, and there's no reason we can't have that. You know, but when everyone pulls together, and when everyone wants something, and everyone chips in, it happens. Whenever you fight, you always got a chance. Whenever you fight, you got a chance. morning get yourself up breakfast get yourself moving if you need to do a workout you need help let one of us know amen champs on three one two three champs. Champs. Which we lay. there's a misdirection single leg he gets every bit of it almost scores and a Big lift and return into a roll. 
No score yet, and then trying to get heavy on it. Olivas tries to get behind him, almost has it. He sits it back, has a single leg, it's on the edge. He tries to pull it back in, he goes cradle. No, now he's on his way, he's got the ball. And he rolls through, he's got him on his back. He's got him on his back. He's got him. You gotta love that action, folks. I want to first of all thank our like our marketing and our facilities people and the setup was unbelievable and the fans being there and the atmosphere really played a big part. And I know I'm a lucky guy, you know, because I'm in a valley that it means something to it. For the most part, I thought we had a, a good fight. If you want a chance to win, you got to give you got to give the fight and have the effort and the hustle. If you do that, you're gonna, you're gonna give yourself opportunities. It's a start and we got a long ways to go and we know that and we'll learn from this situation and we'll move on. Castro came in and he's gonna make him competitive in this Big 12. Troy will be competitive, he'll get there yet, but it's gonna take a while. This place can flourish. How's it going? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing all right. This match has been over for an hour and 15 minutes. Has it been? Yeah, man. I mean, I'm just incredibly happy for the program, Fresno State. And it's, it's awesome to have it back, and especially this kind of turnout, this atmosphere. I mean, like, it's second and none. And to, be, to come back my senior year, I'm just, I'm just so grateful that uh, you know that Fresno State's doing well, and they're and they look like they're going to bounce back pretty good. We need time to build it. We need time to develop these kids that we have in the room now, and we need to add a few more pieces in the recruiting, and we can win a national title here with California kids, and we bring a national title west of the Mississippi. That's solid wrestling. For Mike Melanconico and Flow Wrestling, we'll catch you next time. See ya!